What's going on guys? We are back for 2021. I took a little bit of a break, but definitely back. I want to talk about this new truck, pickup truck right here by Ford. This is the 2021 F-150 King Ranch Edition. Now, I'm going to get into what I liked and what I didn't like about it. But before we start, let's just kind of get the basics out of the way. I'm going to read it from my phone because I'm not going to remember. So with the 2021 King Ranch Edition, this is obviously Ford F-150 is the best selling pickup truck in America and I can see why and it's got tons of configurations now with the King the King Ranch edition there is a lot to love so this one right here starts out at 56 330 but this one as equipped when it's all said and done comes out to a staggering $76,720 so there's definitely a lot of good stuff in there to get that price up that high. Now it seats five, comes with a B&O um, sound system with HD radio. It's full leather heated and ventilated seats with 10-way power for both driver and passenger seats. It's all leather everywhere. I mean, we're talking about the seats, the cover, the shifter. It has a heated leather second row with um, a 60-40 split on the seats. And under the hood is a 3.5 liter power boost full hybrid V6 engine with topping it off a 36 gallon fuel tank. So that's the basics. Now that I got it out the way, let's take a trip around the car. Let's get in. Let's see what we liked about it, what we didn't. And let's let's go. Okay, so at first glance, this is a F-150 King Ranch Edition. And make no mistake, if you wasn't sure, Ford is letting you know, the King Ranch logo is pretty much everywhere on this truck. I'm talking from the side doors, to the back lift gate, the hubcaps, the, the back of the chair, the dashboard, the inside door handles, the floor steels, everywhere you look, they let you know that this is a King Ranch edition. I'm not mad at that, but I do feel it is a little bit of an overkill. Now, once you get past the badging and that kind of overkill of it, if you need a pickup truck for construction or just getting work done, this King Ranch edition F-150 has got your back. From the ruler in the back of the lift gate to the multiple different types of outlets right in the truck flatbed, this Ford F-150 is built to get some work done. Now, another thing I kind of like about this, and I don't know if I've seen it on prior versions, is this kind of hidden step ladder right in the lift gate. This is definitely a plus, especially if you want to get in and out of the vehicle safely. I'm not sure if this was in prior models, but I'm definitely glad it is in this King Ranch edition. And another cool feature is actually as you approach the vehicle, the pickup truck has sensors. So as it detects your key fob, it will pretty much get the truck ready for you to go. It'll illuminate your headlights and your tail lights, unfold your side view mirrors, and even lower the step boards for you so you can step into the vehicle with no problem. Now, once you're in there and close up ready to go, it'll automatically raise that floorboard and you're in business. Okay, let's go inside now. First, that panoramic roof, love it. Now, once you get inside the King Ranch Edition, there is plenty of ways that this pickup truck can help you from the 60-40 split flip-up seats. Once you put both seats up, it creates this additional storage space right under the seat that you can kind of lock in place and even set up dividers for just to put additional equipment that you might need. Or if you don't need a little nook, you can pretty much just reverse it and fold it flat, just creating an extra floor bed in your rear seat to hard cargo equipment or other things you may need if you do not have the need for passengers. Now, this is definitely a first I've seen in the F-150 line. This armrest in the middle not only has storage space underneath, but it can actually fold out completely flat, which is an excellent feature to have, especially if you're working on a job site and you maybe need to work off a laptop or a tablet. You can pretty much fold this flat, have a flat surface to work right from your laptop without having to finagle it on your lap or put some other extra aftermarket thing to kind of work from this is definitely a cool thing to have i mean you could even use it on lunch break as a nice little place to store your food 
Now, in addition to those flip-up seats in the back, there's definitely plenty of other little nooks and crannies, like this little compartment above the glove box that allows you to put some small items, maybe a bottle of water or your phone securely. And of course, we do have the standard glove box that has enough storage space there. But let's go back to that folding flat work area. To do that, this little mechanism actually puts the gear shift down its own little cubby hole so that way it could fold flat, which I thought was really cool and definitely a unique take to that. Okay, but let's talk text. So obviously, it's got the B and O sound system, which definitely puts you in a vibe when you are on the go, on the job site, or just overall relaxing. And this is the first F-150, the 2021, that comes with the Sync 4 infotainment system. And with that, finally, wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. And I mean finally, because to have to use that cable is a travesty. To not use it anymore is definitely something I've been waiting for, and I'm glad I finally got to able, was able to try it out. But it isn't without having no issues at all. I did find myself struggling at first trying to get the wireless Android Auto to work. I wasn't really sure what was going on, but while I would initially was able to, you know, step in the car, it picked it up and connected. Subsequent trips after that, it just wouldn't. I had to do a little bit of a workaround, trick the, my phone by turning off location, forgetting all the cars I had before, and then kind of starting it up fresh as if I never set it up before to finally get it to work on each trip. Then magically after maybe three to four days, it finally just started working, which when it does work, is absolutely great and I love it. Now, what I do like about Sync 4 is the fact that normally when you do Android Auto, that takes over the whole window and screen when it's running. But with Sync 4, I noticed that it keeps it contained within this nice little window. So it doesn't take over all the whole screen, but I'm also still able to operate and use Sync 4's infotainment system. I still have access to all the buttons that Ford provides while still being able to use Android Auto within its own little contained window, kind of giving you the best of both worlds. And I think if, that, if you're going to do it that way, that's the kind of the way you want to go with it. Okay, so let's wrap this up. We all know Ford continues to offer highly reliable pickup trucks, and they definitely continue with them customization options like the King Ranch Edition. Now, while I do think they could tone down on that King Ranch signage all around, overall, this is a very capable and premium filling experience for those in the market for F-150. And yes, finally, I've gotten a chance to experience wireless Android Auto, and we need more of this in cars. So at 76,000 as this is equipped and starting off at 56K, if you're looking for F-150, King Ranch Edition is definitely one you want to look at. But until next time, this is G-Style Magazine and we'll check you out later.